Don't you wish that you had a crystal ball? Well, hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty. And as you probably know, real estate market has been going through a little turbulence lately, which has created a lot of uncertainty. Well, during my 35 plus years in the industry, it would have been nice to have a crystal ball to read where the market is going. But since that wasn't an option, I had to do it the right way and dig into the data to see what's really happening based on the real numbers and not just guessing or a magical crystal ball. So let's dig into the numbers and see what's really happening right now in our market. The recent data from August has moved again, but not in the direction that it has been. These are the numbers for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. And on this first chart, it shows us the inventory. As you can see in the light green, we've experienced the first decline in homes for sale since December in 2021, going from 3,777 homes for sale in July down to 3,618 homes for sale in August. And in the dark green, we see the sold properties, which actually increased from July's 1,662 homes to 1,737 in August. In the red is the pending sales, which we saw a sizable 23% increase from July 1,652 pending homes to 2,047 in August. On this next chart, we show the price per square foot, which continued to see a small drop from 343 bucks a foot in July to $338 per square foot in August. This is expected as the values have been decelerating in the last few months. On this next chart, we have the list to sold ratio, which continued its slight decline from 98% in July to 96%, meaning that homes on average are selling for 96% of what they are listed for. And down below in the orange, we see that the average days on market has increased by another six days from July to August, taking homes on average 28 days to sell. And on this last chart, we see the months of inventory. This chart shows us how long it would take to sell the existing inventory, which has actually dropped from July's 2.3 months to 2.1 in August. This is related to the reduction of inventory and the increase in the new pending sales. So what does this mean to you if you're a buyer? Well, you still have a lot of options available and sellers are willing to negotiate and you don't have to feel rushed when shopping for a home. And what does this mean if you're a seller? Well, we're still seeing homes sell at or above the list price when they're priced right. Yes, values have slightly decelerated, but they are still up. In Placer County alone, Values are up nearly 15% since March of 2021, and many economists are indicating that home prices will climb 2-3% to over the course of the next year. And we are still seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers relocating to the Sacramento area. So you don't need a crystal ball to see that our real estate market is still healthy. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or online at tomdaves.com. Thanks and have a great day.